What's up YouTube, how we doing? Thanks for checking out the video. This is gonna be a few quick tips on the Mavic Pro. Um, I was one of those guys that ordered these before they were shipping. I waited, God, two and a half months for this to come in. And I've probably logged about 100 flights on it right now. So like, I've had some good experience with it. Um, starting to figure out some of the tricks and, and that sort of thing. And, and I get asked um, all the time, you know, about, you know, from friends who have gone out and bought Mavic Pros or people I know online, that sort of thing. So I just want to go over some basic tips that's going to help make your life a little easier with the Mavic. Uh, I hope all this helps out. First and foremost, before you take the Mavic out to go on a trip where you're going to fly it or a photo shoot or anywhere, you know, before you leave the house, uh, safety of your Wi-Fi, check to make sure there's an update. Um, and if there is an update, update it at your house. What's happened to me several times over the past few months is it, I'll get it out in the ocean or get it out in the mountains or somewhere very remote. Break out the Mavic, put everything together, you know, turn it on, crank on the controller, and I gotta update the firmware. And when you don't have good signal, when you've only got a couple bars in your phone, um, it's a pain in the ass. Um, it'll take 30 minutes to update the firmware uh, through your cell phone, 4G, whatever. And uh, you're gonna eat through battery during that time as well, too. Um, so yeah, big, big pain in the ass. It'll pretty much ruin your day if you're planning on getting some awesome Mavic footage. So definitely 100% before you get out on those, uh, you know, set out for those epic trips where you're going to get some cool Mavic video, set it up at home where you have Wi-Fi. check to make sure there is or isn't a firmware update and that your machine is up to date. So that's a big one. Uh, number two, and I learned this one early on, just because this has obstacle avoidance doesn't mean you should try to rely or use said obstacle avoidance. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't work. I assumed that obstacle avoidance meant obstacle avoidance and that, you know, it doesn't matter what you were about to run into, that it would see it coming and, uh you know, stop on its own. That's not necessarily true. Uh, reflective surfaces give it, um, give it some problems. Uh, flat white surfaces give it some problems. So, uh, yeah, just rule of thumb. It's nice to have it. It's great if it kicks in, but at the same time, don't push your luck. You know, don't rely on it. Don't, you know, I'm still, even though I've had this for a few months and I've gotten a lot of flights out of it, uh, I'm still very, very uh, careful about where and how I fly it. Um, and obstacle avoidance plays a role in that. Uh, third tip is get some extra propellers. Um, I have broken a few propellers. Uh, part of that is due to the whole obstacle avoidance thing. Um, but I have broken a few propellers. Uh, I've bought DJI propellers. And I also bought these propellers on Amazon that were supposed to be, you know, they were listed as like carbon fiber upgrades or whatever, that they were faster and going to make your Mavic more responsive and all that. That was bullshit. That was a complete lie. Um, somebody had knockoff Mavic propellers. Um, you could tell they were different when you held them up next to a DJI set. Um, some of the materials were different. Some of the tooling and the finishes on that were different. I mean, these were just knockoff propellers. Uh, but they were selling them at a premium price, and um, it seems like that's part of this whole game. When new products come out, especially when you can get plastic accessories, um, you know, the knockoff guys just fall in line for that. So the propellers that I did purchase that I felt were substandard to DJI I don't even use those um, I typically buy straight from the DJI site I don't want any problems with the warranty being voided or you know I, it's just it's something I, I, I'm gonna avoid uh, so yeah get some extra propellers and get some DJI extra propellers tip number four Get a few extra batteries. 
Um, I have an extra battery here. That's going to help you stay in the air, you know. Um, I do a lot of outdoor type photography, videography, that sort of thing. That's where the Mavic kind of falls into to my needs. Um, one battery was, even though it's 24, 25 minutes, um, I never push it to the very end. You know, I'm usually bringing it back uh, 22, 23, 24 minute range. Um, but yeah, having an extra battery, um, one to charge and one to fly at the same time, super nice. Um, you can charge one battery in your car through the cigarette lighter uh, in the vehicle and uh, fly another battery at the same time and then just keep cycling those out that way and it really works well. So tip number five, get a case for your remote. Um, it hasn't become a big problem yet, but this is a plastic screen. This is not a crystal screen. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can do something. I don't know, but I've got little bitty scratches on the screen. And uh, well, like I said, it's not a big problem. It's not hindering you know my view too much of the analog. Um, it is something that I kind of take note of, and instead of just, you know, throwing it in a bag or whatever, you know, I have a separate case for the controller. Keep that in good shape, because that screen does scratch up very, very easily. Uh, number six, uh, keep up with, and this is kind of the obvious stuff right here, but keep up with your camera and gimbal protectors. Um, I don't ever fly with this on. Some people do. And uh, also learn to be just real careful with like the Campbell, the Campbell, <laughs> with the camera and the gimbal. Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, the best way to take this on and off is to hold the Mavic down like that. Pinch and pull. Instead of trying to do it like this to where you see how... It's all in the way. Oops, that's backwards. You know, it's all in the way. It's a problem from the side. But if you hold it straight down, it goes on there super easy and it doesn't interfere with the gimbal or the gimbal mount or the camera at all. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's super important. You know, without the, the 4K camera on the Mavic, it's basically just an expensive toy. So... Always, always, always take care of that part. All right, tip number seven. I do a lot of outdoor sports, kayaking, biking, hiking, camping, traveling, that sort of thing. So uh, dry box. It fits the Mavic perfectly. I have stored the Mavic in this. It's a tight fit. But it fits. And... Um, Hiking or whatever, you know, you can't often control the uh, moisture that's in the air or the rain or the weather or whatever. And uh, this has really, really worked out well. Um, kayaking as well, too. Pretty much everything gets wet when you go kayaking. And uh, I feel comfortable bringing the Mavic along because I have this awesome dry box. Um, the footprint that the Mavic came in in the box is right here. It's this little foam footprint and the little footprint for the uh, gimbal cover. So I just pulled those out of the uh, box that it came in, pulled the bottom foam out of this to give it room to fit, and then taped those down so the Mavic just fits right on top of that. But yeah, part of owning a Mavic is uh, taking care of it because, you know, aircrafts and cameras... I mean, it's sensitive, man. I mean, if you, if you break an arm or, you know, break the gimbal or whatever, you're out of commission. So, you know, part of owning a Mavic and being able to use it and getting usable content out of it is uh, keeping it in good shape. When you're filming, if you have it on either, definitely not sport mode, but if you have it on normal mode and you're filming side to side like this, your video is going to be choppy. So, and I'm going to try and find some video to where it illustrates what's going on. So when you are filming, um, you get to the location, the altitude, whatever that you want to film. Swap this over to tripod mode. 
and tripod mode is going to ensure a real smooth pan. You're going to get better video out of it in the tripod mode. Now some guys go into the settings and uh, reset the pitch in yaw so that it turns slower automatically making it a smoother video. But like I said the settings are already there. Um, if you're just flying or flying to get to a spot or whatever, you might not want a slow, you know, slow turns. Um, so, uh, yeah, so before you hit that record button and you get to the spot where you're about to start recording, go ahead and swap it over to tripod mode, and that's going to slow down the side to side movements and uh, make that video very, very smooth. always use autofocus. Um, that's one thing that it just, I knew it was there, but I had to kind of train my brain for a little bit to uh, make sure that I hit the autofocus function. Um, basically what this is, if you get it up in the air and you start flying around, um, the focus is may or may not be sharp. It may be a little fuzzy. And Basically, what you have to do is you have either have to tap the screen in the place that you want it to be focused, or what I do is on the back of the controller, you have these two buttons right here, and you can set these for anything. Um, I set this button on the left-hand side for center focus. So that way, once I get it up in the air, I get the settings right, um, I get the camera right, right before I hit that record button, throw it into tripod mode and uh, hit that center focus and that will sharpen up your picture uh, before you start recording. All right, well that's it. That's all I got for you for now. Let me know if you have any questions um, in the comments or uh, let me know if you've got any tips yourself that I didn't mention. But these are some of the more important things that I've kind of had to learn along the way. Um, and uh, they've really, really helped out or just made, you know, videography with a Mavic um, a lot easier. So thanks for checking out the video. Y'all have a great day.